What's happening now is nothing compared to what you will be seeing later, much more. Too much to try the people who do not understand the elder claims, a Christian Orthodox elder. The day will come when you will have no place to bury the dead and you will bury them in mass pits from accidents and diseases. Elder Simon Arvanitis fell, uh, uh, passed away March 4th, 1988. 20 days before he was well, and we received his wish, his blessings, and this wish alone was his best spiritual stimulation. Another time, and first God, we will say more. Dr. Kosandi Vardakas, the theologian, tells us that there, he claimed, the uh, elder claimed that there will be difficult days ahead. The elder said a lot about the state of our society. He said very difficult days will come, the world has gone off the road, off track. Father Simon was once asked, what about the, uh, what keeps falling in Athens, in Greece, in other words? It was the year 1982 or 83, and the elder said, these are nothing, you'll see much more, too much to test the people who can't understand. The elder often said, the time is coming when the chaff will be separated from the wheat, meaning the disturbances, tribulations, material and spiritual, and even uh, conflicts, and days of vengeance, and that there is a need for holiness. The elder said to the fathers of the monastery, the world needs one thing more, holiness. We're not talking just about monastics or here, you know, or priests, we're talking about the lay people as well. Man should imitate the simplicity of little children and addressing God say, what do you want me to do, Lord? But beware of the devil. He wants discord, confusion, disorder, strife, stress, fear. Do not listen to the calculations that inspire you. Our Christ and the, the mother of God and our saints are sweetness, most beautiful with lots of love. Take, take refuge in them to protect you from demons. When you do something out of zeal and great love for our Christ, uh, the crooked be it, how, and crooked be it, God, because it is done out of zeal and love for him, he expects, he accepts it and enjoys it. You also have to make the sign of the cross over everything you eat. The elder used to say that everything we drink or eat should be uh, first uh, blessed by, uh, make the mark of the cross, meaning uh, put the mark of the cross over it, because nowadays all food is full of hormones and pesticide. So with this uh, mark of the cross, we will have no problem. The world is full of demonic gorillas, he said. In his testimony about the elder, he writes, among other things, of one of his spiritual children. He said, I sleep again and see the elder again with his spiritual children on top of the high mountain. One of the children dared, knowing that the elder had fallen asleep, already had uh, passed away, to ask him how he would go through life without him. He then led the group to such a point of the mountain that its foot could be seen. In response, everyone was scared. There was a world full of huge gorillas, and the elder said, this will be the world in a few years. And to the question, how will we cope, he answered prophetically, you will have the lamb, and I will give you the grass. The lamb is Christ, the elder wanted to say, as the gospel also mentions. So when we are in Christ, we will have God's protection with God's blessing. Healing and prophecy. A Christian woman who had lived closely and had received many favors from the elder in a case where her daughter, while she was condemned by the doctors of... of um, of the children's hospital and they were expecting the child's outcome within a few hours the little patient turned around and quickly got better the mother made a plan as soon as she picked up her daughter from the hospital to take her to the elder first and then to her home in addition she was to sell a plot of land that was her dowry and give the money to the monastery but when she went with the child to the elder and told him all this he said to her what are you talking about child god is not paid Love the world, don't hold hatred in your heart, don't care what your neighbor is doing, and help when you see someone suffering. And when people understand what the medicine is, they will be saved or they will be lost. That is, the medicine is belief and love for Jesus Christ. 
The mother asked him, what is the medicine elder? And the elder said to her, holy communion with holy confession and penance, my child. A day will come when you will have no place to bury the dead. You will bury them in mass pits from accidents and diseases. This is man's descent from sin. Forget God and fasts. He does not care about anything sacred. Man, that is. And this is a quotation from Father Simonis Arvanitis, who passed away in 1988, selected from the five books written for him by his student, Father Zosimas. I've translated this for you from a Greek article. This, of course, goes for all of us as his uh, advice to us. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Finally, support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.